How are you? Doing good. good, I'm Matt. Jeffrey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for inviting me over. I'm so excited to be here. Well, thanks for contacting me. I was really surprised. I had never expected anything like that. <laughs> I think I told you, but my husband had passed in May, so yeah. I'm kind of in a clean up mess right at the moment, you know, trying to get everything in my space you know what i mean yeah because it's a lot so, now only yeah. one person having to do everything oh my god it's crazy it's wow. fucking crazy <laughs> really wow <laughs> step i don't have any bail hay right now because it's so damn expensive yeah uh, so this is just compressed hay that i'll be feeding through probably through the winter oh and oh. Wow, this view is just stunning. If you want, we can take a ride, like I said, and I'll take you to my not-so-secret spot. I would love it. We can do that, but let's go inside. Okay, let's do it. The biggest aspiration I had as a teenager was to be the best father I could be. Back in the 70s and 80s, there was only one way to do that, and that was to get married. I met this wonderful woman, and on our wedding night, I couldn't perform. Prior to that, I had had some homosexual experiences. And so I explained to her what had happened prior, you know, having an affair with another man, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> On your honeymoon. <laughs> honeymoon. Um, what a night to tell her. Uh, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. It's funny now, but at the time, I was a total mess. Mm -hmm. I told her. She said, it's okay, we can make it through it, blah, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and so that I can fix you kind of thing, I'm sure kicked in in her head. Finally, I was able to perform for her. A couple years later, we got pregnant again. That baby, she was born with herpes simplex. My wife had had a real bad case of herpes one. Of course, I blame myself because at the time you got the AIDS epidemic and you had herpes going rampant. She passed away at 10 days old. And uh, so, so sorry. Yeah. And so, of course, my ex-wife uh, lost it. So that took about two and a half years for her to really recover from that. After she recovered, then I started going off the wall, fucking everybody. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, uh, and so I spent five years um, from 1985 just playing around and exploring me and my headset and where I wanted to be with my life and how that all fit into my dream of being the best daddy I could be. Mm. Well, when you're out fucking around... You're ignoring something. The curb appeal isn't there right now. Oh, nice. Oh. Honky tonk. Get down. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna foo foo it up for you. Oh, it's fancy. I call Libby my hero because she saved my life. She came around at a time when I thought I was going to have to be locked up or kill myself. Mm. Trying to live that split life does not work. How did you meet him? When I came to Elko, of course, I'm single for a good time call. Reed had a boyfriend at the time. This boyfriend of his says, comes home one night and says, I'm going to meet a guy named Jeffrey for a good time caller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, over my dead body, and I get this call. Is this... I said, yeah. Have you... And I go, no. Did he call you? I said, no, you're the first one to call. Well, he didn't believe me. And I'm going, no, no one's called but you. You are the first one that has called. He comes in and we meet and I take him to the room I'm 
staying out in a house full of other dudes. We did our thing and he left. Broke up with his boyfriend. I guess he told him, you'll never see Jeffrey, blah, 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 because I, uh, he's mine now, right? Wow. Right, okay. It's like, oh my God. So you were putting, you were putting ads like in the newspaper or something or no, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Of course, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Basically, I sew for my daughter. That's my main focus. I started because Reed had uh, scrubs that he wore, so I started with making his scrubs for work. So right now, I'm working on this project for Libby. She does a lot of paper crafting, so she asked me to make her a soft wall pocket system. I like this. Yeah, that's a shirt dress that I made for her. How did your kids handle you telling them that you had a new lover and it was a man? I came out to my children before I met Reed. I sat him down and I just said, your dad's gay. I love your mother and I always will love her, but we cannot live together anymore mm -hmm. uh, because I like men. Of course, he starts crying. And I said, but I'll never s stop loving you. Hardest conversation you could ever have with anybody is to make sure they understand that because you're doing something that they think that they don't understand, making them understand that you will never leave them. Do you want me to get out and do the gate? You're the guest. I don't mind doing it. No. Nope. Okay. okay. celebrated our 28th anniversary when Reed passed in May. I mean, it's been tough. I'm not going to say it hasn't. Was he sick or was it sudden or? It was sudden. They thought he had just passed out for whatever reason, but he had a, a massive heart attack. They worked on him for about two hours. So then the social worker nurse comes out and says, does he have any directives? And I went, oh, fuck. No, well, you're his ne his next of kin obviously i said well if you've done everything you can do then that's it i always think about this you know you get you find your life partner so you grow old with them you have somebody to be there for you when you're getting older and one person in the relationship passes away before the other person so one person is kind of left to pick up the pieces and right. how has that been for you very interesting so he took care of most of the finances and that's been the biggest struggle right now, is I found out that there were some finances there that I was not aware of. How about just like your day-to-day, -day, your usually your routine of coming home and seeing him, now it's it's all different. How does, how does that look for you? It looks good. Really? Yeah. There's the giver and the taker, and now I, I get to take a little bit for myself now. Mm. In every relationship, I don't care who you are or how good your relationship is, there's always one that gives more and there's always one that takes more. So it almost feels kind of like a relief. Yeah. It really, it really does. Until after he passed, I really did not understand the control that he had. Mm. It is so interesting because before coming here, I thought the story would be a lot different because I've never had a spouse pass. So it's so interesting hearing your perspective on how you feel today. If you ignore yourself for a lot of years, it's a shock when you get to pay attention to yourself. So Reed was hypertensive and I mean, he was on blood pressure medicine and he was this and he was that. And every time he had a sniffle, he had an infection. And I always told him, you know, you're never, you're not truly happy unless there's conflict afterward and I'm getting to 
come into the house and just sit and think and my eyes are on me instead of someone else. I was like, holy crap. So are you dating now? No. Are you going to date? I want to, but I don't want to do it in the new traditional way of social media type stuff. Like you don't want to go on a dating app. Right. I don't want to go to Grindr. I don't want to do any of that, you know. Now, have I thought about it? Absolutely. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you try it out? Well, because fear. I really don't want somebody else in my life. I don't want to do the marriage thing again. I don't want to do the long-term relationship thing again. 61 years old. I want to pay attention to my family, my kids, and... Um, kind of enjoy the little bit of money that I have saved up and just do fun things. Oh, be careful. Oh, good job. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm scared. All right. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I loved it. All right, good. It's a fan touch. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Have a good rest of the day. Have fun sewing if you I get around will. to it. I will. All right.